Uh, uh, hi there. My name's Charmander, and uh, I recently learned a new trick. <laughs> When the public try to learn more about the furry fandom, it is impossible not to find an incredible amount of quote-unquote cringe content. To find out what the public sees when they try to learn about the furry fandom, I asked a few people who aren't in the furry fandom to search the term furry on YouTube on a private browser to see what comes up. I honestly think that you will be just as surprised as I was when you see what the public often first see when looking up what a furry is, no doubt leaving an interesting first impression to say the least. In terms of first impressions, as soon as anybody who isn't part of the furry fandom takes the time to research what the furry fandom is, most will end up seeing either hate videos against the fandom or be misled by a group commonly associated with furries. This of course immediately influences the public's opinion on the furry fandom before they even begin to research deeper into the fandom or talk to anybody inside of the fandom because of the quote unquote cringe factor. Instead of portraying fursuiters as goofy or enjoying themselves by expressing themselves creatively, fursuiting is often portrayed as a public expression of a kink or as people who are interested in interacting with children in strange ways. Unfortunately, these videos created by channels such as AGC Andy, mainly looking for immediate growth or fame on what they perceive as an edgy topic, get pushed to the top of results due to the way that the YouTube algorithm works and how entertaining it can be to some people to make fun of these groups they don't understand much about. However, other videos which immediately come up when furry is searched further solidify misconceptions in the public's mind, such as this. One of the first results which came up when I asked somebody to search furry on YouTube using a private browser was a compilation on Therians. Now, to clarify, I am in no way encouraging hate towards these groups, but now that I have observed firsthand what the public immediately sees when trying to learn more about the furry fandom, I can see why the misconception of furries being Therians is so large. Clearly, the misconception has been firmly planted into the internet and now almost acts as an inviting echo chamber, where as soon as you look into the misconception and start believing it through whichever method you accidentally stumbled upon the misconception, that is all you see the fandom as. What doesn't help is that the search results for furry on YouTube are also flooded by far too much furry ASMR content. Now, personally, I don't mind what people want to watch, and I'm sure that a few people in the furry fandom like this type of content. However, due to the way that ASMR is generally perceived in wider society as quite cringe, I'm sure that you can see why the furry fandom is perceived as such a cringe group by the public. Unfortunately, this also makes it incredibly easy for the public to be convinced that the furry fandom is involved in other activities which are generally shunned in wider society, such as most only being interested in NSFW content or having bad intentions. However, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. There is some content that also comes up in that initial search made by large channels which portray the furry fandom as it is intended and give truthful and accurate information to the public. The problem is that it is quite hard to find unless that is what you're looking for. And just like anyone else, often the motivation to look into something that interests you fades quite quickly unless you find something meaningful to watch or look into further. What seems to happen is that the people who look into the furry fandom might look into the first few search results and then hold the perception that everybody in the furry fandom is like what they saw, instead of looking deeper and getting a true understanding. I encourage everybody who is watching this video that doesn't know much about the furry fandom to look deeper and only look into the information which is truthful and accurate.
Whether you like the furry fandom or not, it doesn't bother me or the vast majority of people in the fandom. But at least you'll be informed on the truth behind the fandom, and that's all that matters. And with that, I hope you all have a fantastic day. Thank you.